hey beautiful people welcome back to another video it's a girl lindsay beth so today we'll be doing some super easy faux locks so i already pre-parted my hair did some twists at the front the style sorry not the style the hair that we'll be using is these nala tress relocks in 30 inches from janet collection in the color 1b I received about eight packs of this hair. This hair is extremely long. As I said, it's 30 inches. Each lock is extremely thick. It's very, very soft. For the loops with crochet locks, I notice the loops tend to be very small, but don't worry, don't hold over here with finesse. I will make it work so i'm just gonna show you guys how i usually do my crochet locks if you've been watching my videos you don't know how i do it you put the open latch hook under the braid i'm just gonna do a little throwback here because i did do a similar look with locks from janet collection as well where i put the open crochet hook under the braid or under the twist in this case then i attach the lock loop to the hook then i close the hook and i pull it back under the braid and then i grab the end of the lock and pull it through the loop i'm gonna link this lock video down below as well as up top because as i said i have a lock video as well with similar well nala tress hair from janet collection which i did a few months ago so it's literally the same thing just doing a little throwback hair same it's a similar pattern that i used except then i use braids but for this look i just use twists at the front it's really up to you whichever one you're more comfortable doing but i really love doing locks they're super easy and super quick and they're a great protective style especially when you take your time in removing them so one more time i just take the open hook put it under the braid or the twist in this case then i attach the lock to the open hook close the hook and pull the lock under the braid or the twist and then i like to use my fingers and just take the end of the lock and push it or pull it through the loop and voila however in this case i did you know i did a similar technique with some extra braiding here that i had laying around so what i did then as well as what i did now i just got some normal water wave crochet hair that i had laying around i twisted it a little bit just to get a good grip and then i'm gonna crochet that under the braid because i'm gonna use this to conceal that braid or twist that i have now some people they like to crochet their braid through the lock but i don't know that's not really my preference i prefer to just get some extra hair and wrap it around to conceal the braid so after doing the same crochet method you know using any simple random water wave hair that i have i'm just going to wrap that from the roots and wrap that around the outside braid that i have hanging loose and to me this helps the root to look a little bit neater and it helps the hair stay secure and i don't know it just you know it works you know and then to secure it at the end i just use my hands and roll it some people like to use nail glue some people burn it but rolling works just fine for me okay so we come back to the present now as i said guys it's the exact same thing that i did a few months ago i did for this lock style as well so right here i'm just using some water wave crochet hair that i had laying around to wrap around the lock now i really only did that for the rows that i had at the front because you know the hair at the back is cornered and tucked away so just to get rid of you know to hide that extra twist that i have and for this style like i braided the roots and then i twisted the ends really doesn't matter how you do it you know i just wrapped around you can wrap until you reach the end of the braid you can wrap all the way down to the end of the lock it's really up to you i just stopped where the braid ended to go a little bit faster so once we're done doing this for all the sections that you have at the front you know you can make it as big or as small as you want since this lock since these locks i should say are a little bit chunkier i did make my parts at the front a little bit bigger you know we just move on to the back now since the back of my head is cornered i just crocheted them in along each row like normal if you want to do individuals all throughout your head you can but i may never have the time i didn't have the time guys you know my thing just quick and to the point i just crocheted onto the corners that i have and they were well hidden perfect protective style and i tucked away my ends 
so you don't know say i have to open little edges i have to do a little bit of mousse just to kind of seal the locks a little bit you don't really have to do this step i was just i was just being a little bit extra but you know just for like a judge pan the thing all right beautiful people and we are done this is a final look out of the eight packs i received i used six packs of this hair six packs i didn't want it to be too bulky and this hair is a little bit it is heavy it's a little heavy but not where i feel like my neck is gonna snap off and then this hair is long as i said it's 30 inches i'm 5 11 and it reached just right at the top of my butt so great perfect vacation style very easy to install very easy to you know wear you can do so many different styles with it you guys know i love me a good lock style Alright guys, I'm just showing you how I did this quick half up half down look. This is one of my favorite go-to looks with locks, braids, twists, etc. And then of course, you know, standard hair down. But I'm telling you, it's the half up half down for me. It's just so easy going. Just a little to the side action going on here. That, you know, come to think of it, I think I like this to the side. <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow janet collection at well <laughs> janet collection on instagram and follow me on all socials at underscore underscore lindsay beth and i'll catch you guys in the next video till next time bye guys mm -hmm.